Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. The European Central Bank Gold Rush is on. Let's explore. <laughs> It is exciting to see more and more of these central banks around the world accumulating more gold. I think that certainly does send out a very strong signal that uh, hard times are coming ahead. And also the signal and the message that uh, has reverberated throughout history about the value of gold and how it transcends uh, empires, epochs, and nation states and cultures. It is a, the metal of transcendence for sure. Uh, but nonetheless, this European Central Bank gold rush is really more focused in Eastern Europe at this point, or Central Europe, uh, with Poland and Hungary have been adding more to their coffers in recent years. And now the Czech Republic is going to be taking the gold world by storm by accumulating uh, up to about 10 times of the amount of gold that they have been, uh, already have in their coffers. I'm going to be referencing an article here from Zero Hedge, as shared with me by Aloha Stacker, it talks about this, a fascinating journey ahead, and probably a geopolitical strategy that makes a lot of sense. Um, it was almost inevitable that the Czech Republic would buy more gold, with all of its regional neighbors, having recently either repatriated large quantities of gold, such as Germany and Austria, or bought large quantities of gold, Poland and Hungary, the Czech Republic has now taken note and does not want to be left out of this Central European gold rush. On the 26th of May, in an interview with Czech, Republic, uh, Czech publication Econom, the incoming governor of the Czech National Bank, uh, at least Mick Michael uh, said that he plans to massively increase the central bank's gold reserves from the current 11 tons to over 100 tons or more. That is a huge, almost 10 times the amount of, uh, of gold that they already have. Um, and so essentially, uh, talking to Econom's editor, Volk, Voltech Wolf, the deputy editor in chief, Martin Petrosek, the soon-to-be central bank governor, explained his approach to the management of the Czech central bank's reserves. Uh, Econom question, you have repeatedly said that the uh, Czech national bank should manage foreign exchange reserves differently, uh, which have swelled in recent years. What's your vision of that? And his answer is the reserve management team is professional. They have assignments from the bank board that perform well. I would like to give them a new assignment to slightly increase the expected return on reserves. Yes, indeed. To do this, you need to have more stocks and more gold. And to do it gradually, step by step, it is a change of strategy over years. And so the question then, the follow-up was, how should the proportions of the individual components development? And his answer is, in our Assets and Liabilities Committee, I will propose to gradually, over the years, increase equities from the current 16% of reserve to 20% or more. The Central Bank of Switzerland, Israel, and large state sovereign wealth funds led by Norway do the same. And I will propose to have more gold from 11 tons to 100 and more tons gradually over the years, over several years. Gold is good for diversification. It has zero correlation with stocks, and he's exactly right. It is a, it it's a, certainly serves as a way to kind of a, sort of independent of the stock market. And now, obviously, it has a correlation with currencies, um, namely the dollar index. Uh, typically, it does perform to the opposite of that, and of course, bond yields here in the United States. Uh, but other than that, there's no correlation. There's no counterparty risk with gold, and so he is very wise to be able to uh, realize this. As a young guy, he's only 44 years old, and uh, his, he's been a member of the Czech Central Bank board since December of 2018. 
and it will begin his six-year term as the governor on the 1st of July 2022 after having been appointed to the role by Czech President Milos Zeman. And I think that's a great thing. And who knows, maybe maybe, um, maybe he might watch some of these YouTube videos and, and learn a little bit more about gold. That would be nice. Uh, so, hey, if, if, if you're uh, watching this video, sir, um, Mr. Alice Michael, um, chime in and post a comment. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> All right. So the Econom, uh, Econom interview also gives some insights onto how the new uh, CNB governor thinks about managing the Czech central bank's gold and foreign exchange reserves um, with the word wealth cropping up a number of times. So he knows this stuff already, it sounds like, according to this answer. His vision is to have a long-term profitable CNB. And we are at a great loss now. I would like to set the strategy so that the expected return on assets, which are foreign exchange reserves, in the long run exceeds the cost of the central bank's liabilities, which are mainly deposits of banks that we have to pay interest on. And then the follow-up is for what reason? And it is a vision to create a nation's wealth that exceeds his six-year term. So he's looking towards the future. You know, that's not for most politicians or appointed bureaucrats. Uh, typically, they don't tend to look beyond their own terms or their own self-interest. Um, at least I know the guys have, you know, making hard decisions in order to do that. But it says, rather than predicting uh, another devastating event, it is much easier to conclude that a country, nation, population, business, or enterprise can better mitigate the effects of disasters if they have savings, wealth, rather than a pile of debt in better times. Boom, he nails it right there. Exactly right. It is about savings and wealth. Um, that is really what it's about. And that should really start in good times. And that's just it. Most people in this community um, that are watching these videos now, some of them started and, and during the pandemic or soon after, but there's been many of us that have been saving for years and years during the good times uh, when these precious metals were much lower in price and essentially they were unloved. They were considered barbarous, barbarous relics, you know, by, by some. And so, you know, with no uh, chance of really doing much in the future, even now, uh, their, their price does not really tend to uh, equate to where many people think it should be now, but be patient, because sooner or later, they are going to really shine as wealth preservation devices, and that's what we should hope for. Wealth preservation, not to get rich, uh, not for an investment strategy, so to speak. It's about just saving and wealth, and that's what it's about. Uh, the incoming governor does not go into detail about how the central bank's expanded gold holdings will contribute to an increase in the expected return on reserves. In other words, will the new gold be actively managed through gold loans or gold swaps? Uh, and for an example, the Bank of England or whatever gold will be held in its own vault on an allocated basis. It's not even clear where the current Czech central bank gold reserves are actually held. The annual financial report of the bank for the year to December of 2021 does not specify the storage locations of any of the bank's gold, merely stating that the gold reserves are divided into 10.2 tons in long-term reserve gold placed abroad, marketable bars and precious metals held at the bank in long-term bars, coins, metals, and 0.2 tons in an operating reserve precious metals held for production of coins. Although previous year's editions of the same report state that some of the gold was held uh, as a short-term one-month gold deposit, which implies gold lending, probably the Bank of England. Uh, so yes, indeed. Now, if you go back through history, there was a gold fire sale in 1998 of 56 tons. The 10.9 tons of gold, which the uh, Czech Central Bank holds, only represents 0.4% of its total reserves, according to the World Gold Council's changes and world official gold reserves data, the Czech National Bank gold holdings fell by 2.9 tons between 2002 and 2022, mainly due to gold in the holdings being used to mint and issue Czech gold coins, meaning that it held about 14 tons of gold prior to 2002. This is corroborated by the CMB's own data with a 2019 CMB research paper 
on Central Bank Gold, stating that the CNBC sold off a bulk of its reserves of gold in 1998. There's a history of it. It sold 56 tons then. It was left with 14 tons. Now they're down to 10 tons. So um, I think it's time to restock. And I think the overall message here, folks, is that, hey, if um, we're seeing these Central European countries, uh, and by the way, it's not just them. There's other nations around the world. I've chronicled most of these uh, stories on this channel of these central banks adding a lot more gold, by the way, including Russia. Talked about that pretty extensively, but other nations around the world, too. Um, and so I think the lesson here is pretty clear that if nation states are adding gold to their uh, central banks. Uh, isn't it prudent for us to be our own central bank? Uh, and this is why one reason why I believe it is incumbent upon us to be our own central bank and accumulate gold uh, as we can within our budget and uh, discipline ourselves, um, and not only as silver stackers, uh, but um, you know, but it's, I think it's incumbent upon us, even as silver stackers, to think about diversification into gold which is the ultimate safe haven in my view. And this is why I'm accumulating this metal. And you can do so by buying various different types of coins, rounds, bars, and uh, of all different sizes. Uh, this is a kind of bar that typically is not very easy to just go out and purchase. In fact, I cashed out an IRA to get this bar. And only now, uh, literally nine years later, almost nine years later, is it starting to... Um, pretty much pay for itself. In other words, it has preserved the value of that transaction. It's caught up to the price and then some, but uh, you have to also take into account that I took a pretty big tax hit in cashing out that IRA early. It was kind of a foolish move in some aspects, uh, but uh, it was a move that basically I was safeguarded because of the safeguards that gold provides. Um, and that is really uh, what... Uh, was behind that move. I figured, you know what, uh, it's worth the risk just in case something were to happen uh, detrimentally with the economy, which I thought at the time that would be the case. It did not happen um, because there was a lot of fear mongering that I kind of gave into at the time. I've learned a lot from that point, um, for sure. I've grown a lot as a person, and I think that's really the bottom line. And that's another reason why I think it's good to diversify into gold and because the discipline it takes to buy it uh, means that uh, you are more apt to do more research and understand uh, what you're buying and and um, and understand what it does. And so there you have it. And also gold is a beautiful metal for sure, very dense. And uh, there's a lot of value packed in a very small space. And so therefore um, it is a very convenient storage wise and interesting way to be able to store your precious metals and your value, your wealth. And that's what the um, Czech Central Bank, National Bank does, is doing. And I think that uh, we, I think it's a lesson for us all. Very cool. All right. Interesting indeed. So fascinating story. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Um, and by the way, I do post videos on a daily basis. And I want to make you guys realize that because some people uh, think, oh, I haven't seen a video from you for quite a while. Um, well, yes, that's because the notifications aren't going out or you're not seeing it on your subscription feed. But for those of you who are interested in what's going on here, know that uh, pretty much every single day I'm posting videos. Um, so I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all and also to Aloha Stacker for sharing this story with me. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.